two, three, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. There you go. Hey, how are you doing? Good to see you again. Typical. What is the, how does it feel to be not only on the board of the Pasadena Playhouse, but also to be able to get Alfred Molina to step on this stage and do a performance of the father? Do you hold this? Well, uh, Fred and Fred, as he goes by, um, Alfred and I have done four plays together so far. Um, we last did Long Day's Journey Tonight at the Geffen, and um, A View from the Bridge, Arthur Miller's, um, for BBC Radio. So I've known him and worked with him for a long time, and. I'm looking forward to being in the audience and watching him on stage instead of being on stage with him watching at something. He's just a magnificent performer and a wonderful, wonderful man. And um, this, I think, play will really show off all those fabulous aspects of his ability and his humanity. Thank you. Thank you. And one thing, you're doing such amazing work here because we're bringing so many great performances here to the play, Playhouse and bringing it to Pasadena. What does it feel like to bring this type of caliber of work to San Gabriel Valley? It's thrilling. And, you know, Fred lives right in the area. You know, um, I think those that's one of the things we're most proud of. Uh, Danny, Danny Feldman has really Sorry, I realize my glasses are got small to them. But Danny Feldman has really uh, uh, cor uh, corralled and harnessed talent in the LA area instead of bringing them in from New York, which is often what happens um, with theaters. And I think it's really changing that perception of how incredible the talent is here. And Alfred Molina is, you know, the, the cherry on top. So um, you're going to be seeing a lot more of that. And uh, this is our second year, only second season, I think, Danny, starting the third with Danny Feldman at the helm. And it's just been magnificent. I'm really proud to be part of it. Of the opening night. So what does it feel like to be here for Alfred Molina's premiere performance of The Father? I just like leaving the house. I have a two and a half year old. So the fact that I am here and I love Fred Molina. I was in Fiddler Not With Him with a different cast and I've always loved watching his way of storytelling and I just hope my seats are good so I can see him sweat. So what do you have going on right now? What are you working on? I'm working on a lot of voiceover for animation, which is what I do. I sing a lot. I'm also producing a children's album right now of all Sesame Street music uh, that has Jason Alexander and French Stewart, French who I worked with here at the Pasadena Playhouse, and uh, it's all great classic Sesame Street music, so that's going to come out soon. Yeah. You're definitely going to have to pick up that one, de most definitely. It's going to be good. Thank you. It's going to be good. Have a great night. You too. What does it feel like to be here tonight? Alfred Molina, the father. Oh my God, dude, it's I, to me, it's a privilege. I love Alfred Molina. The man is golden. I, I think he can do no wrong. He's phenomenal. And he takes the craft so seriously. And as an actor and a theater actor, where I came up in theater myself, you know, that means more to me than anything. Someone who really believes in their work and takes the craft seriously. And then to be here in Pasadena, uh, at this playhouse, to me, one of my favorite in the country. And this play, too. I love this play. I've read it several times. I've seen it. And uh, I have family that has suffered from this this disorder as well from Alzheimer's and has early white matter brain disease as well. Uh, so this really touches home for me. So I feel quite honored to be here and to see a man of this caliber doing this kind of work. And now your movie is out on uh, home video now. Tell, tell us a little bit about how awesome is it to finally, like, you get the theater experience, but now to be able to know that you open it up to a wider experience. It was really great. I mean, we hit 1,100 screens theatrically, so that was beautiful. Uh, but now, you know, we've been picked up by Showtime. We have a deal there. Blu-rays are selling out like crazy. Blu-rays, actual hard copies are still selling. We can't keep them in stock. And uh, it, that's been really cool to hear the fans connect with it. And it really tapped into that zeitgeist and people reaching out to us. Someone just got a tattoo sleeve of the whole movie, the characters on their arm. Unbelievable. I mean, to do something and be part of something that's touching that many people at their core in a beautiful way. I mean, what can you ask for? Nothing more than that, you know? That's how you know you touch something, you hit a something really cool yeah. because a lot of people that could, uh, are loving it and wanting to buy it in a physical copy as yeah. well. Exactly, exactly. You feel honored. I feel privileged that I got to do that for somebody and that we got to do that for somebody, you know? And, and I just hope that people find joy in it for a long time. But if it's making people smile, it's making people happy, and it's, it's a movie about a loner and an outcast, and if those loners and outcasts in the world who feel that way for whatever reason can, can find something to connect to that can kind of pull them out of that, then I just feel honored to be able to do that for them. Tonight we're talking about the father, Alfred Molina. How excited are you to see this? I'm super excited. He's one of my favorite actors, and uh, I actually love this play. It's a beautiful play, and uh, yeah, super excited. 90 minutes, no intermission. It's going to be a full throttle. 
Right. Have you seen him before on stage? I have never seen him on stage. I auditioned with him, but never got to work with him. But yeah, no, I'm super excited. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I've heard so much about this uh, performance and this play already from from the early performances, and they're saying it's great. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're looking forward to to it as well. What do you have going on? What are you working on next? Um, well, I just did a little thing on Succession, which was uh, which aired recently, and uh, just doing a lot of writing, a lot of a couple of scripts I'm pitching around, and I got a couple of uh, things in the works, a couple of things I can't talk about, but uh, yeah, up for a couple of things, and you know the usual. New to, new to LA though, so that's exciting. Yeah, I came from New York to LA, and now uh, doing this, so it's my first LA red carpet. So very cool. Yeah, it's outdoors. You don't have to worry about rain. You're way more relaxed and just sort of laid back and cool here. It's like red carpets in New York are like super. Um, yeah, our New York office tells us. Like, hey, what's going on? Let's talk about theater. Let's talk about. I love this. This is great. Just chill. Yeah, yeah. So have a great night. Have fun today, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Pleasure. Thank great. you. It's inspiring. So, are you excited about tonight with Alfred Molina and the father? I'm so excited. I'm a huge Alfred Molina fan, and I've never seen him live, so this will be a treat. I mean, it's so. I mean, you always see him in the East Coast, and you always see him in London, but you very rarely see him perform on stage in the West Coast. Uh, what is it about him that just brings something to the stage that nobody else does? He's he's just such a powerful performer, and he has a way of just taking over the space, and whether it's on film or in television or on stage. So I just want to see him command the stage at the Pasadena Playhouse and bring this play to life. I'm so excited. So, man, what do you have going on? What are you working on right now? Well, right now uh, I'm working. I'm promoting Marriage Story, and I have a few things in the mix that I can't talk about just yet. So please stay tuned, and you'll be the first to know. What does it feel like to be here tonight for Alfred? Molina's opening performance of the father. I'm jealous. I'm very jealous because I want to do theater and I'm so each to do theater again. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what the play is about. I read a little bit about it and I love this theater. Every time I see something here is so well put together. So I'm you know I'm sure that it's gonna be just amazing. I love I love theater. And um, with the Apple TV series, Ghost Rider, how's everything been going? Uh, have we heard anything yet on the second season? Thank you for asking. Everything is going really well. It's so funny because my episode hasn't come out yet, which makes everything so much better. They just released, they released in November, and it's been a few months already, and the episode hasn't come out. So I'm excited. I'm just waiting for it. I haven't heard anything about a second season or anything like that, but if the episode hasn't come out, then things are going well. It's going to come out at some point very soon. Exactly. I agree with you. Uh, last thing, what do you have going up right now? What are you working on? Um, I'm actually going to take a trip to New York, Miami, D.C. I'm meeting with new people, agents and stuff in, in, in the East Coast. I'm going to go to Colombia. There's a project in the oven. I know it's going to happen at some point. It's television. I'm trying to go back to writing. I have a book that I want to publish and I want to do theater again. So I want to start writing my own show. Awesome. Yeah. Well, have a great night and we look forward to talking to you later. Tony, what does it feel like to be here for the premiere performance of The Father? Uh, feels pretty good, you know, since it's, since I wrote the play, it's like, uh, you know, I'm really happy to be here. No, I'm only kidding. I didn't, I didn't write the play. Well, the story is such a interesting s subject matter to be performing. Um, where do you, where do you think, what are you looking forward to most in this performance? Uh, I'm been, I have been since Raiders of the Lost Ark, a big fan of Alfred Molina. So uh, any chance I get to see him, uh, it's a pleasure for me, you know. And uh, I haven't I haven't seen him in any stagecraft out here, so it's it'll be it'll be fun. Same here. It's the first time I'm going to be seeing him out of the West Coast live, so it's a very interesting thrill for me as well. Uh, what do you have coming up right now? Well, right now I've been doing uh, uh, re reoccurring on All Rise for CBS. I play the father of Wilson Bikel. I'm an alcoholic drug, I mean, gambler. So uh, I don't know what's in store for the second part of the season. But right now I've had a great first half of the season, a lot of fun playing that character. Alfred Molina, the father. How excited are you to see him on stage? So excited. I am always thrilled to see him on stage. He was shocking to me. We, we got to, I got to know him because we lived a couple of blocks away from each other. And I saw him in the neighborhood once, and that was the first time I heard him with his actual accent. And I went, oh, oh my God, you're British. Um, and such a doll, extraordinary man, extraordinary mind and instrument. And he's just, I can't wait. And I would watch anything he did. 
So what do you have going on right now? What are you working on? Oh, and we're uh, hopefully going to be doing, or actually, the six season of Bosch that I'm a regular on is going to be coming out, um, I think, in April. I'm not allowed to say, I don't know for sure, but I think in April. Um, and we're hoping it's coming back for another season. And I'm actually going to be doing a, a, a role, a recurring role, on a, one of the Marvel series. So very excited about that. Marvel Disney Plus series? Possible. Um, the only time I've been here is when I got called. Interesting. <laughs> We're going to have to be watching, keeping an eye out for you then. Uh, I'm not yeah, say anything, because I will get killed. So how about it be in Atlanta? Huh? Shooting in Atlanta? If you like to be here today for Alfred Molina's premiere performance for The Father. Well, Alfred played my uh, a, fa a role I, I wrote for a screenplay called Nothing Like the Holidays. He played my father in it. It was based on a, a true uh, play I've written. And uh, I just have always had a warm feeling about Alfred. He's, he's an amazing performer and a, a great man. And, and I love this theater. My first play was done here at Pasadena Playhouse. And that used to be the Little Theater. And from there, I went up from there to Broadway. So I feel it's been kind of a, a nice return back. Exactly. And you've done everything. You've done Broadway, you've done TV, you've done movies. What is it that you, which format do you love the most? I have to say I love theater the most. The reason is, is, is it's immediate. If, even when I did television or like say in Living Color or Mad TV or any shows I've written or even East Los High, it takes about a month before you see it. And even then you're, you're, you're I mean, I saw, remember a snowstorm in Chicago, it snowed in and there was one of my comedy shows up there, and people were laughing, and I, I turned to someone and said, I wrote that, and they thought I was just insane. They were like, who is this guy? But theater, there's there's like a truth between the audience and you, and it's immediate. You you hear exactly what they think, how they feel, and it's not like when you're writing in a bubble, because you're a writer, you're, you're, you don't know what anyone's feeling or thinking until after you show it to someone else. So it's the immediate response. That's what I love about it. Uh, what does it feel like to be here, especially for tonight's premiere performance from Alfred Molina in The Father? I'm super excited to be here. I'm a Pasadena native, and so it's a thrill to come to the Pasadena Playhouse and see Alfred Molina, who's such a big star of screen and stage. And uh, I've seen him on Broadway. I've seen him in Red with Eddie Redmayne and um, Fiddler on the Roof and you name it. So just to have him here is fantastic. And how nice is it to be able to get out of your house and just have to walk here oh instead gosh. of driving and traffic? Oh, it's a dream. I love it. Anytime. Because <laughs> for me, I live down the street and it's yes, awesome. It's awesome. Too. Me too. Uh, great. What have you been working on lately? So I was in season three of Goliath with Billy Bob Thornton and I just did a guest starring episode of Shameless, which was a lot of fun. And I've got a couple of projects coming up that I'm going to stay quiet until they uh, hit the screen. But it's been really a busy new year so far. So I'm excited. One day in time cast because we've, we've covered them every single year. And I remember your character in the show and I loved the, your performance in it. Yes. It was really Thank good. Thank you very much. Uh, but we're not talking about one day at a time today. We're talking about the father. That's right. What is it like to be here tonight and to be a part, to be able to see Alfred Molina be able to perform on the West Coast? It's um, it's a little surreal. You know, I just moved out from New York City, so it's 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 wonderful to see that theater energy out here and uh, a play that I haven't really read since college. So it's important to me, especially because it, it addresses dementia and um, a lot of the things that I can relate to on a personal level but the play itself is I'm, I'm curious to see what they do with the translation so I'm, I'm and of course Molina I'm a huge huge fan for growing up just been looking up to him and I think that's the beauty of living in New York is that you get a chance to see these actors and on stage where we don't get to see that we see them more on screen for people who are who don't get the chance to go out to theater how important is theater especially nowadays Theater is the essence, I think, of, of not only performance, but, um, but uh, uh, it's a medium that I think really is the most honest and the most uh, spontaneous. And there's nothing like the live experience uh, meant to actually see the blood, sweat, and tears that go on right in front of you on stage, uh, no matter what it is. So. Um, what does it feel like to be here tonight for uh, the premiere performance for Alfred Molina? It's awesome. I mean, Alfred Molina, we, yeah, we're here to support, you know. We, we love live theater. I'm not really the greatest singer. It's very cool. And can you tell us a little bit about the show? The show, this show? Oh, country, your show. Oh, my show, well, my movie. My movie, it's about to come out on uh, Spectrum. It's going to be on, on, on cable. And then a month later, it's going to go into uh, Amazon, Amazon Prime. So you'll be able to watch it there. It's, it's called El Contratista, the contractor. And uh, I'm the lead actor in it and the executive producer. 
and it was a lot of fun to to do. It's one of those things that you say, I'm gonna do it. You know, I'm not gonna wait for somebody to hire me. I'm just gonna produce my own film. Exactly, because why wait for somebody else when you could do it yourself and just get it out there? Yeah, just very talented writers, uh, you know, directors, actors. Put them all together, come up with the money, and just do it.